Dr. Sella here, and if you want to test to see whether installing a play is worth your time, this is what you've got to ask yourself as the play caller. Do you love it? Do you love it? It's no different than when you go to the store, or you go on Amazon, and you look at a piece of clothing, and you say to yourself, do I love this? Because unless you love it, you're not going to wear it. And you're going to waste money. You have to love it to wear it. And you have to love a concept to install it. Unless you love it, you won't run it. Now, I've talked for years about a two-year NFL run study was done and it proved that you have to run a play at least four times a game for it to be statistically effective. Now, I've been asked, there's a guy on Twitter that keeps asking me, how does he get access to the run study? Well, if you can contact Larry Zerline, who's the former Browns, Bills, Cardinals off of the line coach, he'll have it. I don't know if he'll give it to you, but he has it. I used to have it, I lost it, shame on me, but I know what it says because I read into copious notes. You have to run a play at least four times a game for that play to be statistically effective. So the question you have to ask yourself is, when you install something, are you willing to run it four plus times a game? Now you're gonna say, well, Dr. Sella, if it works, I'm gonna run it. Are you willing to love it enough to make it work and persist through it? It's no different than when you go to the mall, I guess people still go to malls, I know I do, and you, and you go and you walk in the Macy's and you see a shirt, you look at it, you should only buy it if you love it. Like over Christmas time there were a pair of pants, they were on sale, they were Ralph Lauren pants. They are the most comfortable freaking things I think I've ever worn outside of sweatpants. I wear those things to death. They were worth the $49.99, 50 bucks that they were. So, when you put a play in, you gotta love that play, and you gotta be willing to run it over four times a game. I had a client, first year I was in business, and we had this discussion a couple years later after the, we talked about the study, his conclusion was to be absolutely certain that a play was worth it, he had to run it at least five times a game. Because he goes, I'm leaving no doubt. I'm going 20% above the required amount or the required number because I want to be sure that I love that play. Four is not enough. We're going to five. So there you go. Now, if you look at Air Force, and what they ran in 2022, the, all the plays they ran more than four times a game were zone dive, mid triple, trap, down, rocket. Down was run five times a game. Rocket was run five times a game. But, and I've said this before, in their big wins, down and rocket were around seven times a game. Trap was seven times a game. Mid triple was seven times a game. Zone dive was, 23 times a game. So pretty much when you love a play, you're going to run it four plus times a game. So it's five plays to install the magic number. Air, I just gave you Air Force's big five. Zone dive, mid, triple, trap, down, and rocket. Should you install five plays? I don't know. But whatever you're going to install, you better love it. You better love it. Because unless you love it, you ain't going to run it enough, and it's going to get you closer to losing. So you better love what you install. Now, I get asked about this, too, about pass plays. In terms of pass plays, look, if you have a pass concept with 11 different moving parts, yeah, you're probably going to have to be willing to run it four-plus times a game. That's why switch with Paul Johnson was so big. Paul ran switch so much because it was so effective because it was the most effective way to bind the corner. 
vert out of flex is the most effective way to bind the safety because you fast break the single high safety. If they give you two safeties, it's hard to bind a half field safety. Basically, what Navy found years ago was if a team gives you two safeties, it's just too hard to bind the safety. But if you go flex, you can bind the corner. So basically what ends up happening is against these two safety teams, they just spend their whole game binding the corner. Anyway, the point of the video is whatever you install in your triple option offense, and I've given you the blueprint for winning now what to install, because what Air Force has done, the, the big five, but whatever you're going to install, you better love that play and you better be willing to run it over four times a game. So you got to ask yourself when you put something in, am I willing to run this four plus times a game? And do you see yourself running that play four plus times a game? If you do, put it in. Remember, the average high school football team is going to run 48 plays in one game. That's the national average. Yeah, there's variables. If you're good and you control the clock, you might get some more plays in. If you're slow tempo, you might get less plays in. You might win and get less plays in. If you're getting rocked, like what Wyoming did to Air Force this year, you're going to get less plays in. Sorry. So, I mean, every now and then even Air Force has a bad game. But anyway, if you're going to install a play, you better love the heck out of it. And you better, better be willing to run it over four times a game. That's the point of the video. Coaches, you want to win more games in 2023? Call me. The Triple Option Football Academy for $9.97 is going to show you how to run Air Force's offense the right way the first time. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk soon.